All right, it's super early. Look, 311. But I'm heading down to Venice Marina to fish Breton Sound with a guy who's been on some really big trout lately. Fingers crossed it should be a good day. All right, it's still early, 529. But I'm down here ready to go fishing. You know, Venice is at the end of the absolute planet. That's what makes the fishing so good down here. Looks like the wind's blowing pretty hard out of the west. But we're supposed to head to that east side to kind of protect it over there. We'll see if we can make it. It might be too strong. Might have to just settle for redfish, but I'll find out in just a minute. Right, I'm with Captain Tristan Elson today. It's bumpy. We got out here. But we definitely took a beating. Not too bad. On the way out, Tristan said he wanted to do a competition today. So here's what we're going to do. Longest speckled trout, longest redfish, longest other. But if you've seen, we've done this competition before. You have to declare your biggest fish when you catch it. We're doing all catch and release today anyway, so you can't keep it and measure it later. So this is gonna be entertaining. Gotta think of a punishment though for the loser. We'll come up with something. Man, I got a three eighths. I don't know if I can get down with this. I don't know if you can tell, but the current's absolutely flying here. Today is a no tide day. It's a flip flop day, but we got this hard west wind. Definitely moving some water around. Man, the current's only on top. Oh, it's really? Yeah, it's not on the bottom, uh-uh, at all. Oh, man, I got smoked. There he is. Oh, nice trout, real nice trout. I missed him. I'm throwing a pro's choice soft stick bait and crab oil on a 3 8 ounce death grip jig head. Uh-oh, Tristan's got one. Tristan's using the crutch of live shrimp. <laughs> Let's see what he's got. Hopefully it's a hard head. Oh, oh, there we go. Now Tristan's got a nice trout on, oh, that was a ladyfish or a Spanish. Tristan's got a nice trout. Is that your measurer? No, sir. All right, he's waiting. Not declared. He's waiting. That is, I mean, that's probably a, what would you say, an 18, 19 inch yeah, fish? Yeah, 19. It's a beautiful fish. Oh, yeah. No, I should have stuck a tag in him. But I gotta, I gotta, I gotta win this competition. Yeah. Game face. Oh, another hit. Uh-oh. Oh man, another hit. Oh, there we go. Dude, I keep losing my fish. Tristan is just whacking them. I'm getting bites, I just can't connect. I mean, it feels trouty. Looks trouty. That's a trout. Come on. Ooh, nice, Man, fish. nice fish. Nice fish. Tristan, go fish. Go fish. All right. All right, look at this fish. Look at that's a beautiful Breton Sound speckled trout. Yeah, that's a 19 inch fish. We're gonna stick a tag in him and let him go. Good way to start the day. We yeah, got two 19 no inches. Doubt. No doubt. You know it's crazy. Uh, so Pretty much stayed out there all day. Oh, goodness. I mean, you get a bait down, you get hit, and I missed another one. I gotta check this hook. This hook is great. Definitely not the problem. The angler is the problem. Bait. Scoops the bait out. A, oh, it's every cast. It's like right away. It's right away. And they're beautiful fish. Look at this fish. Look at this. Oh my goodness. You know, I threw my bait, but that's all right. Well worth it. Look how deep this fish took the bait. You think they're not feeding? Oh, that's a small one, only 18 and a half inches. So that fish destroyed my bait, but it was well worth it. Got plenty more. Oh goodness. Wow. A double. Oh, Tristan's got a nice one. That's a big fish. That's at least a three. 
Mine's not that big. Tristan, you gonna measure that fish? Oh no, I'm not declaring. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Oh my goodness, look at this. Look at these fish. Just something about Brett and Sound. Yeah, it's awful. With these monster trout. It's, it's just insane. Here too. It's just magical. I mean, look, look at the girth on them too. Yeah, look at the girth, exactly. Look how big this fish is. That's a 20 inch fish. Look at that, 20 inches. What's yours? 20. All right, hopefully somebody catches him. There he goes. This is this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. And Tristan's sticking with the live bait. Oh yeah. Trying to get him fired up for you, you know? All right. So this current is super swift, but it's only on top. Once I get below it, it's really easy to hold my bait. Oh shoot. In contact with the bottom, which is good because these fish are right on the bottom. Oh goodness. Oh, look at this, another double. <laughs> oh man, I got a virtual baby. This fish is only 18 inches. And Tristan's got one about the same. Lost another bait, also well worth it. 19. A baby. 19. All right. Oh, there we go, Tristan got him. I'm rigging up a new bait. Oh, good, good. <laughs> All right, Tristan made the switch. He's throwing a jig head the way God intended. Come on, Trout, don't quit on us. There we go. Tristan got one. <laughs> They're all rubber stamps. Absolute rubber stamps. What would you guess, 19? Yeah, 18. Can't get a bite all of a sudden. Need you another know school to move through. Oh, there we go. Now, Tristan, you said a customer caught a seven and a half? Yep. This weekend? First cast. First cast? Oh. Yeah. Did, he, did he keep it or he let he it go? Oh, there we go. Going. Oh, he it's a good fish. It's a real good fish. That's a real good fish. You gonna you gonna enter him? <laughs> He's like, nope. Still gotta take it in the secret spot. Not when there's seven and a half pounders out here. All right, let's let's uh, let's measure him. Because right. yeah, that's a good fish. He's gonna be 21. Yeah. Dude, they are probably as fat as they are too. That's a that's a three. That's a definite three. He's 21 with a pinch tail. Pretty close. All right, I got a snag. Lost my bait. So I'm just gonna make a change just to see what else I'll hit. Tristan is currently throwing a shrimp creole matrix shad, and I'm gonna start throwing a limbo slice matrix shad. Two of my favorite baits. Hopefully, the seven pounders like the limbo slice. So Tristan, you said it's uh, everything's kind of gotten rolling early this this yeah, year, huh? Yeah. Me and uh. A couple of my friends were talking about it. We're seeing bait real, real early this year, and this trout got out on these rigs pretty early. You know, the water temperature still hasn't really heated up yet. But uh, I don't know what caused it. Just kind of everything's flying in early. Even offshore, the fish patterns were early. You think it's? Uh... Oh, I mean, it should only get better, right? Oh yeah, yeah. It's not. It's not at its peak yet. Yeah. A month and a half ago, I was coming out here. <laughs> Some kind of snapper, huh? What is this? Oh, it's a grunt. Grunt fish? Yep. Man, you barely ever see those. Man, should I weigh this as my other? Man, I don't know. We may, we may not catch a, a different species, huh? I'll be shocked if we don't catch a redfish. No, I know, but we got trout, redfish, and another. Oh. Whew, that's a big risk. I don't know. I mean, we might catch a flounder, right? In with the reds? What do you yeah, think? I it's mean, possible? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, it's possible. No. <laughs> All right, I'm not. If he's encouraging me to, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, it's the declare part about it. I know, of course. That's what makes it hard. Yes. I can't tell you how many times I've done this competition and never catch a bigger one than I caught. Like, you never know. We might not catch another trout. Like, it, you just don't know. I mean, yeah. You, and you're like, oh man, I could have weighed a 22 incher. Or if you weigh the 22, and then you catch a, you know, 25. 
and you're kicking yourself. Oh, there he is. Uh, he doesn't feel big. And I'm getting the variety pack today. Now that's your measure right there. Yep. Come on, little guy. Sorry about that. Sorry to ruin your day. Blind you in one eye. That is some trout bait right there. Oh, first cast. Really? First Back. cast. Oh. That? That's a good trout. When they can't jump, you know it's a good one. I don't think I don't think I need the net. I think he's a I don't think he's a weigher. It's a good fish, believe me. Oh goodness. Just silly. Silly, silly action. And Tristan's got one. Oh, there you go. You should definitely weigh that one. What kind of rod is that? It's a Terma concept, Akuma. That's what I, I run the. Uh, well, there we go. Jeez. Oh, it was on the way down. He hit me. Move the <laughs> on the way down. Ooh. You going to take uh, me to the rig? No, he's not that big. Shake that mouth. Just powerful. We're, with strong opinions. And Tristan hooked up. Literally, this does not get any better. It does not get any better. Nowhere on the planet has speckled trout action like this. Nowhere. Would you agree that the fish over the past four years have gotten bigger every year? Like as an average? Man, I you know, this this is probably the best trip I've had in four years, to be honest. That's awesome, man. Look, this is a little one. Like this is a little fish today. This is a 16-inch fish and it like looks tiny. That's what makes this place mad. A little 16 incher. Hit already? <laughs> oh, snag. Alright, good. That takes you out of commission for a minute. One of us should have tied that Kroger on that I caught. I know. I, I forgot to tell you to throw him in the well. Oh, there we go. <laughs> nice. I was hoping the bigger, I mean, it seemed like the fish on this side were bigger. Yeah, they're But, right yeah, those are schoolies. But I, I can't get bit. So crazy. I mean, I guess the school just migrated. I can't get a bite on this side. You know what else happens is they're chunking a bunch of live, live shrimp. So it pull, they pull them off. They'll, yeah. They'll suck them right off. Well, that didn't sound very good. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put that in video. <laughs> there he is. Yeah, that's if that's a trout. Oh, no, 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 don't you dare. Don't you dare. Trying to get in the ring? Yep. Oh, Ooh, get the net. Get the net. <laughs> I just got a glimpse of him, but he looked pretty nice. Don't you shake it. Uh-uh, uh-uh, not in the trolling motor either. Yeah, that's a decent fish, probably a four. Oh, yeah. Come on, stay on. Come see Uncle Tristan. Come see Uncle Tristan. There we go, all right. Yeah, that's a good one, dude. That might be a... Look how a, long his head is. It's at least a 22. Let's get the hook out of him. Then we'll deal with the net. There we go. Ah, right, settle down. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to declare this fish. Okay. <laughs> Tristan's like, you're an idiot. <laughs> All right, let's see. Here we go. That's a four-pound fish. Let's see. Know. All right, he's 22. 22, 22 inches. inches. So I'm stuck. He's just a slob, dude. I'm locked in on trout. That is just a beautiful fish. <laughs> I have a feeling Tristan's laughing at me, but still, how can you not, how can you not measure a 22 inch fish? Just absolutely beautiful. There he goes. Can't wait to get back in the water. All right, this is literally my best trout trip in years. And you know how much I fish. Just fantastic action. A beautiful day, certainly windy. We got this west wind, but we're on the east side of the river, so we're protected. And just phenomenal action on beautiful speckled trout. I mean, you're seeing them. The, the, the average fish, I'd say, is about 19 or 20 inches. That's doesn't get any better. Uh-oh, that didn't take long. Be a baby, be a baby. A baby. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, that's only a 16-incher. It's nothing. You know, I do 98% of my fishing in the marsh, so, you know, like a fish that size is a really, really right, good fish. Right. There we go. That's my 24-incher. 
Yeah, I, don't <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Feels pretty nice. I tell you what, this is a nice fish. Better? I don't know. We're going to see. No, nah, he's not that big. We're going to flip him. He's always hard. Yeah, some fish are just stronger. Like, yeah. you, you get them up and you're like, man, that fish felt a lot bigger. This fe okay. fish felt a lot bigger. See you, dude. Hopefully somebody else catches you. Oh, goodness. Come on. Seriously? <laughs> like, literally, my I bait mean, did not get to the bottom. Fish did not get to the bottom. Yeah, just a little 19-incher. These are getting boring now, these little 19-inchers. You can tell this water temp is like right in their zone because yeah. they're acting stupid. Yeah, they, and when you plug them in the boat, Yes, they go crazy. 19 incher. Oh, oh goodness. Oh goodness. That first run was pretty impressive. This might be a good fish. Uh-oh. Get out that rig. Get out that rig. No, 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 no. Like he's got a little weight on him. I don't know. He's not feeling as big anymore. He's nice, believe me. That first run was really good. Rip and drag? Yep. Oh, that's a bigger fish than I thought. That's that's the fish of the day right there. That's that's got me regretting measuring my fish, because yeah, he's definitely 23. Dude, that's a big trout. That's a nice that's trout. A that's a slammer hammer. 22 and a half. 22 and a half inch fish. Just beautiful. Wow. All right, this almost seems wrong to do, but Tristan and I have caught so many of these trout that we really kind of want to go around, see what else we can find. He's been catching a bunch of reds lately as well. We may hit another rig or two on the way in just to see if we can catch some more trout. And other than that, we might target some redfish, but such is such a special day. I can't tell you, I really think, in fact, I know, it's the best speckled trout trip I've had in, in several years, certainly on quantity and quality. These fish are just absolutely beautiful. All right, this is a functioning platform, so you'll have to excuse the noise. But Tristan said some really, really big speckled trout live here. We're not gonna make many casts. We're just gonna see if we can catch a giant. I'm kind of hoping we don't, because I'll lose the competition. How would you say today, compared to other days this spring, speckled trout wise? Was it, was it typical? Was it above average? Was it excellent? Oh, it's excellent. We uh, we pulled off to the first spot and started getting them one after another. You can't ask for anything better. We wore them out, tagged a bunch of fish. It's just gonna, gonna be a good spring. It's already a great spring. All right, so this morning, you know, we pulled up to one rig and started catching them right away. You're on the water every day, so you kind of have a head start on a lot of people. But if uh, you're just coming out here for your first time or whatever, what would you recommend to people? How long do you spend at each rig? What are some things you look for? How do you know where to go? What areas? All that stuff. Uh, first of all, like, if you don't know the area that well, I'd recommend getting getting a guide for the first few, few times you get out here. It could be a pretty confusing and dangerous place to navigate. Like we just saw, the water's super low right now and there's sand flats everywhere and a lot of, caused a lot by like erosion and everything. But fishing the rigs, you know, some days you go out there and it looks perfect and you got clean water and you catch nothing but catfish and ladyfish. They're either there or they're not. I'd say right now is the time, the time of year. Next few months, they'll be out there and I love running out them. Good sized fish and they, 
they only seem to be getting better every year. Today we had really good success throwing soft plastics. Does that kind of change as the season moves along? You get more into the summer, the water temperatures get really hot. Do you kind of then more have to transition to live, yeah, live bait? no doubt. As it gets hotter, the plastics will still work on some days, but you don't want to run all the way out there without live bait. Some days that's all they want. It'd be a good idea to fill your well up with some big live shrimp or croakers or whatever live bait you could get. It's definitely fun to get them on the plastics when they want the, when they want the uh, matrix or whatever they're biting on. Yeah, no doubt. Um, and today, you know, you threw a cast net a little bit for pogies. Will they be out here throughout the season? Yeah, they will. Uh, they'll probably get more and more out there as the, you know, the water heats up. We're starting to see some more. They showed up kind of early this year. I was out in, at the islands two months ago and I saw a bunch of pogies. So that's a great bait if you're targeting bigger fish. Yeah, so if you're out here coming to catch schoolies, you probably want to bring the shrimp if you want right. to catch some big fish. Croakers, pogies. Croakers and pogies. Absolutely. Okay. Water clarity that we had today, has it been kind of typically about, I mean, it was good, but not great. Yeah. Has that kind of been how, it, how know, it's been this spring? This west wind, I mean, it's been a windy spring, very windy. The west wind today kind of, I thought it was going to be a little worse than what it actually was. Last week, we had a bunch of east winds and we had clean green water being pushed in out from the Gulf. Uh, it's just kind of day to day. A northwest wind like we had usually churns up the water like about this color here, but we were lucky to find some, some better water this morning. I was worried about it last night when the wind wouldn't stop blowing. Down here in Venice, I mean, obviously Venice is a legendary fishery, right? But would you say one of the best things about this place is, you know, the fact that you can run west on an east wind, you can run east on a west wind, you can always really find, I mean, today we had an extreme west wind right. and still had great success on the east side of the river. Right. I mean, that's kind of a real unique aspect of this place. No right? doubt. It's you know, it's so, such a big area. On any given day out here, no matter what the conditions are, somebody's gonna be getting them. I mean, from bass to blue marlin, this place has got it all. It's just, it's a magical place, nothing like it. There's absolutely no doubt about that. That's 100% true. Venice is legendary, right? I mean, everybody's heard of it. Everybody wants to fish it. Today demonstrates why it's such a unique place. Now, the redfish didn't work out. As we mentioned, we had that hard west wind. Blew all the water out. Obviously, it's dirty. It's super low. You can't even hardly get to the banks. So that didn't work out. But that really worked out well for me because I beat Tristan in the trout category and neither one of us weighed another. He caught a big old sheep head that he could have weighed but kind of forgot about it and released it. That would have tied us, but hey, sucks to be him. So we decided what the punishment is, is that Tristan's got to take me fishing again. We're going to go in the late summer when the triple tail get real thick at the rigs out here. I've never done that. I've only triple tail fished up in Lake Bourne, so I'm really excited to do that. I mean, they catch upwards of, you know, like double digit triple tail. Definitely want to do it. So we'll be back in a few months. Well, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the Marshman Masson channel on YouTube. And if you wouldn't mind, share the video with somebody you think would also enjoy it. Definitely would appreciate that. And until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh, we'll see you right here on Marshman Masson.